Are you excited for WWE SummerSlam? Then this video is for you because we got some big topics to cover and it's all coming up in just a second. If you guys want more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, this is what the stage looks like at Ford Field. I'm excited about it and I know some people are, they're, they're interested to know why WWE is going this more simplistic route for the pay-per-views. And honestly, we can all assume things. I don't really know. Uh, if you look at the stage, it's pretty much the same as what WWE has done for the UK show and then as well as Puerto Rico for Backlash. I personally like it. I, I like the idea of using this for the Royal Rumble, for SummerSlam. The smaller stage design, in my opinion, is appealing. Less is more. Now, granted, it's not every time that I go sit in floor seats, but I do know that if I was going to... I mean, perfect example, WrestleMania 34, massive stage, you know, the massive everything by the ring. When you're sitting in the lower bowl or upper bowl, it, it kind of becomes a little too much. There's too much stuff in the way and it gets in your view. And I think that's the reason why I like these simple stages a little bit more. Obviously, for WrestleMania, it makes sense because it is the grandest stage of them all. But when I look at something like this, it's not a problem for me. I think with the way Ford Field is designed and laid out. I think it made a lot more sense for WWE to go the simplistic route. Now, keep in mind, WWE didn't try to sell absolutely every single ticket in the stadium, but it is going to be interesting to see how many people are actually there. I think at this point, it's definitely over 50,000, which is going to be uh, crazy as it is. Um, but I, I think this is going to be great. And, and what's the experience going to be like sitting on the floor? You know, I, I, I'm going to be facing the hard cam. So what's it going to be like? you know, turning your head and looking to see who comes out without the big LED boards. I think that's a really interesting thing to kind of mention, but I personally like this. I think less is more. In this case, it's going to be a good thing. With that being said, though, WWE will pretty much always have the big stages and stuff for Saudi Arabia shows, for WrestleMania, and who knows what else they end up doing. Guys, I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, Bray Wyatt. Yeah, Bray Wyatt, obviously a lot of talk about Bray Wyatt, his return, stuff like that. A lot of people, you know, we've talked about this so many times. We still don't really know what's going on with Bray Wyatt. Uh, but PW Insider came out with a very interesting story today. Multiple sources have confirmed that Bray Wyatt is, in fact, dealing with a health-related issue, which has kept him out of action. And essentially, uh, WWE sources have noted to PW Insider that Vince McMahon's return to the company literally has nothing to do with Bray Wyatt being out of action. They were told that Wyatt not returning is a byproduct of the company being very, very careful with his health. So whatever his health concern is, whatever the issue may be, uh, WWE is being very, very cognizant of that. And they're being very aware of that and not trying to put him through anything else. Um, I think a lot of people, uh, they're, they're trying to assume too much with Bray, right? And I, I don't know where that comes from. It, it might just be the IWC being the IWC. But when I look at Bray Wyatt and I look at everything he can do, I think this guy is a hell of a talent, and, and, and I've said this so many times, but it's really health before wealth. Obviously, being at SummerSlam, being there in attendance, I, I would really love to see my prediction come true. I talked about it with Darren McCarty on the Ultimate Prediction Show. If you guys missed it, check it out. It's on the channel. But I would love to see Bray Wyatt go after Cody Rhodes. I think there's a huge dynamic there. It's too much for me to explain in this video, so you guys should definitely check out that video. But when I think of Bray Wyatt, I think of an amazing feud for Cody and Bray. But if he's not cleared, he's not cleared. There's no indication that he's in Detroit. There is no indication that he'll be at SummerSlam, which if he is, obviously it would be a massive surprise. But kind of keep that in mind. Bray Wyatt right now, as of right now, as of this moment, according to PW Insider, he is legitimately not cleared. Guys, we got to talk about Rhea Ripley. That's right, because Rhea Ripley and Raquel... Not on the card. A lot of people are wondering what's going on here. WWE didn't put in Trish. They didn't put in the Becky match, right? Like, they're not doing that for SummerSlam. They're really trying to focus on quality over quantity. But is WWE going to add Rhea Ripley versus Raquel at SummerSlam last minute? And there is a belief it could happen because WWE is currently awaiting to see if Rhea Ripley is cleared. Now, keep in mind, Rhea Ripley is working media with the WWE. She is in Detroit. She's doing interviews. She's there. She's present. And it sounds like WWE very well could add this match last minute if she is, in fact, cleared. Now, look, in, I, I, I'm going to be honest. Look here. If she is medically cleared, 
while I think it is stupid that this match is not on the card. I don't want to see 9, 10, 11, 12 matches with matches being squash matches, with matches not being given the full amount of time that is needed to really tell the story. And I think a good strategy for WWE is to save some of those big-time feuds and some of those big-time matchups for television because it will incentivize me to watch the television show. So while I understand why people are upset, and it's not just simply Rhea and Becky and Raquel and, and Trish, and you know, it's not just these people. It's everybody, right? Theory versus Santos will be taking place on SmackDown. That gives me an incentive to watch SmackDown as long as WWE hypes it up. The idea that WWE wants to add this match last minute, I'm cool with it if they decide to go that route, but I don't want to see a scenario where we're just getting the match on the card and it's a three-minute match and Raquel gets dominated. That's not what I want to see. I want to see quality over quantity, and if you make this a main event matchup on Raw and you really allow Raquel and Rhea to wrestle, you can give them 20 minutes and let them do some really cool stuff, but you got to build it up that way. And our final story of the day, Randy Orton, he's been spotted in Detroit, even though he's not medically cleared. This is, this is interesting. This is interesting for sure. Uh, there's been so much talk about Randy Orton, by the way, whether Randy Orton is cleared, not cleared. There's some stuff I read about him trying to return despite doctors saying no. Well, he's apparently in Detroit. Uh, Sean Ross Sapp also came out and clarified some stuff. So initially PW insider reported that Orton is in fact in Detroit for SummerSlam. However, there was no reason given as to why he was there. Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful Select came out and said, despite reports of Randy Orton being in Detroit, I'm told by people close to Randy that he is nowhere near medically clear to return at this point. So is this a swerve? Is WWE planning to swerve us? I don't know. But as I say, health before wealth, Got to prioritize health. You would never want to see him come back premature and then and then get you know injured even worse or anything like that. It's the same thing that I was talking about with Bray or with Bobby Roode. To me, Randy Orton in Detroit would be great. It would be awesome to see him on TV in some capacity. It'd be awesome to see him start a new feud. It'd be awesome to see him on weekly television. But if he ain't cleared, he ain't cleared. He ain't ready. So... I want to know what you guys think. Randy Orton spotted in Detroit. Do you think this is all a swerve? Do you think he's coming back? I feel like WWE has surprises planned, and I just can't pinpoint where it would be. Obviously, some things could take place during the Battle Royal. I want to know what you guys think in the comment section down below, and I'll see you next time.